Hello everybody, my name is Brad, and I'm one of the buyers here at the Boulder Bookstore. Uh, so today I've got a selection of the shortlist for the International Booker this past year. So if you don't know about the International Booker Prize, this is a prize that's given in England every year to books that have been translated from other languages into English. Uh, they're books that are available in the British marketplace, which is why two of the books I'm going to talk about today haven't been published in America yet, but both do have upcoming publication dates. Uh, the first of that is called The Employees, it's by Olga Raven translated from Danish, and that'll be coming out in February of 2022. They just announced it this morning. I'm pretty excited, uh, but I don't know much about the book yet, so we'll see what happens. For books that have been published in the States, I have The War of the Port by Eric Villard. Uh, this is translated from the French. It's very short, and it reads like a nonfiction essay. Um, it's about the Protestant Reformation against the Catholic Church and the peasant uprising. Um, essentially, peasants realized back in the 1600s that they were promised equality after death, and they weren't promised equality while they were alive. That didn't seem fair. Uh, so there's a large uprising, and the way he ties it together makes it very reminiscent of what's going on in the world today. Um, beautifully written, very short, I, re I read it in a sitting. It was worth it. It, it was a good read, for sure. Um, Next, I have The Dangers of Smoking in Bed. This is by Mariana Enriquez. Um, this was translated from Spanish. It's a book of horror short stories, which is fairly unique for the International Booker. I don't remember the last time there was a book of short stories that was shortlisted, um, nor do I remember ever having a horror book here. Beautifully written. My favorite short story is, is called The Cart. Uh, it's about a community that has a homeless individual that comes in with a cart and another person beats him up and nobody helps and they're all cursed afterwards because of it. So seeing this entire neighborhood kind of slowly decline, um, very terrifying, very very beautifully written. I loved it. Um, next I have Maria Stepanova. This is translated from Russian. It's called In Memory of Memory. This also reads more like a lyrical essay than it does a book and it's all the stronger for it. I know that sometimes that's a negative for fiction. It works really well in this case. Um, in the 90s, Maria Stepanova's aunt died and she was going through artifacts and she found a bunch of pictures and letters of her family, um, Jewish family growing up in Russia, and it's about how they survived all of the persecution that was going on throughout Russia and Europe in that time frame. Um, this was my favorite of the six books. I think it's a little bit harder to get into, um, just because the subject matter is so brutal. But it's it's gorgeous. It, it really is an absolutely wonderful book. Uh, next, I have When We Cease to Understand the World, translated from Spanish. This is written by Benjamin Labatat. Probably pronouncing that wrong. Uh, this will be published in September. It hasn't come out in the States yet. This is on Obama's summer reading list. Um, and this was also written like nonfiction. There were three of those this year, I'm just now realizing. Um, it's essentially five essays about mathematicians and physicists and how their messed up lives help them break these boundaries of consciousness in their fields. So there's an essay about uh, Grothendieck, there's an essay, essay about Schwarzschild, and there's a great essay about Heisenberg versus Schrodinger and how they had this kind of playful animosity turned into an actual hatred and how they came up with the two best theories of uncertainty um, that exist and explain quantum mechanics and the best way that we can understand it. And the fifth essay is just about the author living in Chile. That fits really, really well with the storyline though. And then last but not least is the book that won the International Booker Prize. Uh, so this is At Night, All Blood is Black. This is by David Diop and this is translated from the French. Uh, this is also on Obama's summer reading list. Um, short book, it's told very much in the African storytelling style, where you have a narrator who tends to be unreliable, who's going into these long-winded stories that you realize the, the actual theme is what's underneath what he's talking about. Um, so this is, he's in a war with his best friend, his best friend is killed and he loses his mind. So he starts going across enemy bounds and killing people in the middle of the night, taking their hands and bringing them back and then everybody in his army troops gets worried that he's a witch. Um, 
and, and it goes from there, and he slowly loses touch with reality. Beautiful Learn, again, very short, it's about 200 pages. I loved it, I thought it was wonderful, I think Obama's gonna love it, but we'll see. So that's what I have for you this week, those are all the shortlisted books for the International Booker Prize. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.